everyone, this is Fiona, the Young Adult Librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool wand out of just a chopstick and some paint and some glitter. It's a fun craft to do and it's really easy. So let's get started. For today's craft, we're going to need a chopstick. You can use a wooden dowel. Um, chopsticks work well because they have the point and they kind of have the shape of the wand. We need a hot glue gun. I have some um, gemstones for decoration and some glitter as well for decoration. Anything you have that you'd want to decorate your wand with. Some paint. I have a couple of different kinds of paint I'm going to be using. And then some regular glue as well. And also a paintbrush for the painting. So we want to start with our chopstick and our hot glue gun. And what I'm going to do is take it and I'm going to sort of make a spiral of hot glue going down the length of the chopstick. You can do any design you'd like. Um, you'll see it after you paint the chopstick. So anything you want to be able to see afterwards, that's what you want to do here and now with your hot glue gun. So now that the hot glue is dried, and you can see it's sort of spiraled around the chopstick, you want to take the paint color that you want to use, I'm going to use some brown, and basically you're just going to want to paint over the whole chopstick. So once you have your chopstick painted and dried, you can begin to decorate it now. So what I'm going to be doing is highlighting the hot glue spirals I made on this with a secondary paint color. Um, that's up to you if you want to do that. You can start decorating in other ways. This is the first thing that I'm going to be doing. So now that I have my wand fully painted, I just want to add a little extra pop and bling to it, I guess. Um, so I have these really small gemstones, so I'm going to be gluing them on. I'm just using regular glue for this. Just putting a little glue on the gemstone, or you can put it directly on the, the chopstick, and just glue them right on. So as a bit of a final touch, um, now that I have my gemstones on, I'm just taking a little bit of glitter and glue and just brushing a little bit gently on here and there just to, to give it a final touch. So here you can see my finished wands. I have one that I did in brown and gold and then another one I did with a uh, sort of black and purple and they were really easy to do and I think they came out really cool. So I hope you like this craft. Remember, there's a special code at the end of this video to get extra points for your summer reading. This is the last in the series. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more crafts.